Hey everybody, this here is a Leslie Lock, uh, known as the Play It Again Sam model ceiling fan. Um, now this ceiling fan was made by Evergo, and I think that they also were labeled Wards, Montgomery Wards, um, I'm not too sure about that, but um, the ones with this style blade, which is what we call the baseball bat blade, um, these were most often labeled um, under the Leslie Lock name. Uh, or play it again Sam, which was kind of like their gimmick, I guess you could say. Um, so, like I said, it was an Evergo relabel. Um, they used the same motors made by Union. Uh, so, like the same motors as the Industrials. Um, a top mount spinner. Uh, the blades are wood. And it has these really interesting shape to the blades. They kind of have this sort of portion that goes around the motor. Um, and then the blade tips are very unique. Um, they do very much resemble baseball bats, um, if I had to say so. Uh, and even the badges kind of help with that effect, too. They're kind of these, like, upside-down U's. Um, it's really interesting. But other than the blades, the motor and the everything else is pretty much the same as, like, that uh, those other Evergo spinners that I have, the white one and the brown one. Um... This is a 48-inch model. It's model 4E-3LW, I believe. It's a 48-inch model. Um, yeah, wood blades. And it does not have a reverse switch, unlike the other two that I have. Um, so it's not reversible. It does have the same bell canopy and the lower canopy. So, um, yeah. Uh, now, this one I got... Uh, this past weekend at the Lehigh Valley fan meet that I attended in um, Pennsylvania uh, with a bunch of other fan collectors. I got this one actually from a fellow fan collector, um, Nick, aka the Junk Collector. Um, so this one came from him. And uh, this one, these were sold with um, five speed uh, wall chokes in the boxes, I think. But uh, this one, I didn't get it with the original control, so I have it attached to the uh, solid state variable speed control that I normally test my uh, industrial fans with. So I have it set to low speed, so I'm going to go ahead and turn it on now. And I turned the low speed trim down. So did adjust it, so hopefully it doesn't stall. These Evergo motors work really well on solid state, well, Union motors. Union, Evergo, same thing. You can get some really nice slow lows out of them. These are really nice fans. I don't think I've ever seen one with this style blade in person before. Uh, I don't think I have. I was thinking maybe when I was little, but I don't think I ever saw these anywhere. Camera isn't all in the frame there. Sorry about that. Whoops. Now I'm moving it all around. Alright, that's better. Sorry about that, guys. So it's a nice slow, low speed, very aesthetic. And a Turn it up just a hair. Just a little more. Whoops.
There goes an Allen wrench. Sorry about that. I was trying to move the box of Allen keys, not drop them. Okay, I'm going to turn it up just a little more. Getting into the functional low area. Now this one's motor does have the nut on it, I forgot to mention, just like the other two, as you probably saw. Um, I don't know if these ever came with the baseball bat blades without the nut. I don't think I've ever seen them. I think the only ones I've ever seen with the baseball bat blades were in this style, and then there were, they made uh, banana fans also with the, uh, paired with the baseball bat blades sometimes, also under the Leslie Locke name. But I think the Leslie Locke version was called the Saratoga of the ba uh, banana fan. Okay. Another small turn. This is like medium low. Turn that a little more. It does have a little bit of a buzz, but pretty much to be expected with the solid state control. Right, a little more. This is a good medium. Turn it up to like a little faster medium. This is kind of like a medium high. Okay, get into that high range. All the way up to high. And it had a little bit of wobble on the lower speeds, but on high speed it pretty much balances itself out. And it absolutely flies, which pretty much expected with these. And I tell you, it's moving some good air. Those uh, blades, they have, they're kind of narrower in the middle, and then wider at the ends. So it's kind of, kind of make a strange sound as they're moving through the air. But they definitely kick up the air around a lot. Alright. Spin down, test the bearings. It made a little bit of bearing noise. But like dry bearing, not dry bearing noise, wet bearing noise, like the whirring. Um, but the bearings seem fine overall. Definitely not as bad as the white one that I have, which sounded like a freight train when it was running.
okay, wow, that thing actually took its time to spin down. And I didn't, I did see a little bit of a kickback, but not too much. So the bearings are definitely still very good in this motor. So with that being said, let's uh, turn the fan on to high now, do a zero to high startup. So the up close view, so you can see these really cool blades. This shape is so wild. I think it's amazing. Super cool. Never seen anything like it before. So they're like, they got this like little ring here. They kind of like interlock almost that goes around the motor. It's very modern actually, way ahead of its time because you, there's fans uh, that like these days that kind of have this a similar design like this with the blades that go around the motor like that so it's very cool um, that it's kind of like ahead of its time um, those badges those are kind of like I think those are like antique brass badges the nut is antique brass which is pretty cool um, lower canopy upper bell canopy and then I think there originally was a gold pinstripe on the side around uh, the edge like the others that I have but I I don't cannot confirm and then the tag on top of the motor if I can find it it's a little bit torn up but you can still see most of the informations for the most part let me brighten it up here maybe not okay there you go you see AC ceiling fan this one is not labeled Montgomery Wards at the top above the AC ceiling fan, but um, model number, it's 48 inch, model 4E-3LW, 110 volt, 60 hertz, 1.2 amps. Evergo, you can't really see it right there because it's kind of torn, but Evergo Industrial Enterprise Incorporated, or in Industrial em Enterprise Limited, made in Hong Kong, UL listing. Um, yeah, so same motor as the brown one that I have. And it's actually a the bigger version of that motor on the Union Super 36. So that's just like a smaller version of this one. So um, I think that's about it for this video. Um, so that is the Leslie Lock Play It Again Sam uh, or Evergo Top Mount Spinner Ceiling Fan with the Baseball Bat Blades. So thank you guys so much for watching as always and I'll see you in the next video.